In January of this year, a midwife from Uganda called Harriet Naiga joined our press conference to talk about her experience as a health worker during the pandemic. This morning, Harriet sent us this email. I got my first shot and I'm yet to receive the second. The situation was tough for the last two months where over 2,000 people died so far, including health workers. We hope that the vaccines will be able to reach different parts of the country and hope that people will be responsible enough and go for vaccination. Otherwise, COVID is spreading, though people are now moving to work in order to earn a living since the majority depend on hand to mouth. These populations need vaccines urgently, especially health workers, older people, and other vulnerable groups. I understand the concern of all governments to protect their people from the Delta variant. But we cannot accept countries that have already used most of the global supply of vaccines using even more of it, while the world's most vulnerable people remain unprotected. WHO is calling for a moratorium on boosters until at least the end of September to enable at least 10% of the population of every country to be vaccinated. To make that happen, we need everyone's cooperation, especially the handful of countries and companies that control the global supply of vaccines. It's no understatement to say that the course of the pandemic depends on the leadership of the G20 countries. I call on them to make concrete commitments to support WHO's global vaccination targets. We call on vaccine producers to prioritize COVAX. And we call on everyone with influence, Olympic athletes, investors, business leaders, faith leaders, and every individual in their own family and community to support our call for a moratorium on booster shots until at least the end of September.